Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today in this video we will show you how to determine the acidic and basic nature of any solution using litmus paper and also how to determine pH value of any solution using universal pH paper. First of all, let's know what is acidic or basic nature of the solution and what is pH of the solution. Acids are those substances which give hydrogen ion or hydronium ion in the aqueous solution. And the bases are those substances which give hydroxyl ion in aqueous solution. The acidic or basic nature of the solution depends on the amount of hydrogen ion or hydroxyl ion present in the solution. And if hydrogen ion concentration is equals to hydroxyl ion concentration in the solution, then the solution is said to be neutral. And if hydroxyl ion concentration is less or you can say hydrogen ion concentration is greater than hydroxyl ion concentration, then the solution is said to be acidic. And if hydrogen ion concentration is less than the hydroxyl ion concentration, then the solution is said to be alkaline or you can say basic in nature. And this acidic or basic nature of the solution can be identified by determining the pH of the solution. pH means power of hydrogen and it can be defined as the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration in the solution. Now let's start the experiment. Here we have taken distilled water in a beaker and then dip a blue litmus paper into it. After few seconds, remove blue litmus paper and observe the color change. You can see here there is no color change in blue litmus paper. And if blue litmus paper changes to red, it means solution is acidic in nature. And if red litmus paper changes to blue, it means our solution is basic in nature. Now dip red litmus paper into distilled water. Here you can see there is no color change into blue. It means the nature of distilled water is not basic. Now to determine the pH value of the distilled water, dip universal pH paper into it. Now remove the pH paper and compare the color developed on the pH paper with the color given on the chart of pH. Here you can see the color of pH paper matches the color of value 7. So the pH of distilled water is 7 means it is neutral in nature. Now next we have taken another sample that is milk. Dip blue litmus paper into it. Here you can see blue litmus paper slightly changes to red. It means milk is slightly acidic in nature. You can also perform this experiment in another way. Means with the help of dropper take the solution from the beaker and then put two to three drops of this solution, this sample on the pH paper and then observe the color change. Now dip red litmus paper into beaker containing milk. Here you can see red litmus paper is not changed to blue. It means milk is not basic in nature. Next we determine the pH value of milk. For this dip universal pH paper into milk sample and then after few seconds remove this universal pH paper from the milk and observe the color change. Here you can see the color changes to green and which matches to the color of value between 6 to 7. This means that the pH of the milk sample is between 6 to 7. Next sample here we have taken is curd. Deep blue litmus paper into it. Here you can see blue litmus converts to red. It means curd is acidic in nature. Next, deep red litmus paper into curd sample. Here you can see there is no color change in the red litmus paper. It means curd is not basic in nature. Now again to determine the pH value of curd, dip a strip of universal pH paper into it. And here you can see the color of the universal pH paper changes to the color of value 4 of standard pH paper chart. It means pH of the curd is about 4. Next sample here we have taken is lemon juice. Dip blue litmus into lemon juice. Here you can see blue litmus changes to red. It means lemon juice is acidic in nature. Next, dip red litmus paper into lemon juice. There is no change in the color of red litmus paper. Next, dip universal pH paper to determine the pH of lemon juice. After few seconds, remove the universal pH paper and match the color change with the color of pH paper chart. Here you can see the color of pH paper matches to the color of value 3 of standard pH paper chart. It means pH of lemon juice is about 3. 
Next sample here we have taken is dilute HCl, deep blue litmus, blue litmus changes to red, it means dilute HCl is acidic in nature. Next, deep red litmus paper into it. Here you can see there is no color change on red litmus paper and then deep universal pH paper to determine the dilute HCl pH. Remove pH paper after few seconds and match the color change with the color chart and here the dilute HCl pH is between 1 to 2. After this, next sample here we have taken is dilute sulfuric acid. Dip blue litmus into it. The color of the blue litmus changes to red. It means dilute H2SO4 is acidic in nature. Next, dip red litmus into it. Here you can see there is no color change in red litmus paper. It means this solution is not basic in nature. And then dip universal pH paper to determine the pH of dilute H2SO4. Here, here the color of the pH paper changes to the color of value 2. It means dilute H2SO4 pH is about 2. Next sample here we have taken in beaker is dilute sodium hydroxide. Dip blue litmus into it. Here you can see there is no color change in blue litmus paper. Now dip red litmus paper into dilute sodium hydroxide. Here you can see red litmus paper changes into blue. It means the solution is basic in nature. Next, dip universal pH paper into dilute sodium hydroxide solution. Here, the color changes into dark purple color. And when we match this color with the color of standard pH chart, here you can see the color is darker than the color of value 11. It means the pH of sodium hydroxide is greater than 11 and it is between 12 to 14. Next sample is dilute sodium bicarbonate solution. Dip blue litmus into it. There is no color change in blue litmus paper. It means it is not acidic in nature. Next, dip red litmus paper into it. Here you can see red litmus paper changes to blue. It means dilute sodium bicarbonate solution is basic in nature. Now, we determine pH value of sodium bicarbonate. Dip universal pH paper into it. Here you can see the color changes match to the color of pH value 9. Next sample is dilute sodium carbonate solution. Dip blue litmus into it. There is no color change. It means it is not acidic in nature. Dip red litmus into it. And here you can see the red litmus paper changes to blue. It means dilute sodium carbonate solution is basic in nature. Now dip universal pH paper into this solution and after few seconds remove it from the solution. Here you can see the color changes to dark blue color and then determine the pH value by comparing the color of universal pH paper with the standard pH paper chart. Thank you very much for watching this video. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Link is given in the description box. Thank you.